Hello there today. Well, anyway, I was looking at a Bible verse here. And it says, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, pressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And believe you me, everybody has trouble. Sooner or later, we have times of joy. Life is just... It just changes all the time, as I told you. Things are so different from, you never know what's gonna happen next. So you need the Lord to help you be prepared for whatever is gonna happen next. So when I said my prayer this morning, I said, Lord, lead, guide, and direct us in the way you would have us go and be with all the sick ones that we know about. And one of James's employees called in and said that he had three sick children at home from school and that he couldn't come to work because he didn't want to bring anything in on James. Because James is 82, and I don't know what's going around in school, but there's something. You know, I was thinking, what can I talk about today? And I was thinking, what about everyday life that I live? You all live an everyday life, things that you do, the rut that you're in, and of course, I take care of my cats, clean the kitty litter boxes, make sure they got water and food. That's one of the chores I have to do every day. And then I do a, quite a bit of vacuuming. But yesterday, look at Bella. I shaved her down again. She's got this real long, I'm gonna lift her around so you can see her good. Now she's all shiny and clean. She's all nice. Look, Bella, look how pretty you are. Look. she. She looks so much better. Her hair was, it's not the kind that's shiny like my other cats. And she never grooms herself. So I just shave her down. It's good I'm a groomer. And one of my blades was getting sh not sharp. And I got to find out where I can get some more blades or get my blades sharpened. Now I'm just being myself today. Everyday life. But, you know, ever since I was a little girl, I have wore bows and things in my hair and primped. We always called it primping. And when my grandmother, on my mother's side, she would walk miles and sell cosmetics out of a suitcase. And that's when I got hooked on cosmetics. You know, like a little lipstick, a little powder, a little here, there, a little... And I used to think, how can I stop those wrinkles? And when I got about 50, I thought, maybe I need to get a facelift. And me and my sister discussed it. We talked about it. Should we, you know, because I was beginning to wrinkle up. So I started putting egg whites on my face and, and trying to retard those wrinkles. Honey, it's hopeless. <laughs> They're going to come. I don't care what you do unless you get a facelift. I'll take that off. And a lot of the well-to-do people do get a facelift. And what you do is you, somehow or other, they pull it up like this. I'd look like a monkey. I look fine. Really, I'm happy with my looks and I'm thankful. But you know, I do try to do the best I can with what I got. That's what we do and that's why I wear wigs. A lot of people say, your hair looks so nice. Well, sure it does. I pay good money for it. They're not too bad at poly -um. They're not the cheapest, but I tell you what, they, they're easy to take care of and you can shampoo them and put them on just fresh because your hair underneath here is oily and it gets some oily and you have to shampoo them just like you do your own hair. And then I thought today, I like wearing sunglasses when I get out and these, you can wear them over top your glasses and it just knocks the sun like crazy. So these are good to keep in the car because they cover my glasses, but my glasses do turn dark. I noticed when I did that short with that Bob the other day that my sunglasses were dark, but they don't get near dark enough. The light hurts my eyes now that I'm older. I'm not wearing a scarf today. So heck, I got a turkey neck. <laughs> so anyhow, I watched uh, some of that Elon Musk and Trump last night and was things better off in his, uh, when he was president? Yes, 
gas prices was a whole lot better. But James went to that uh, bluegrass festival and he got gas down in the country for like $2.79. I said, honey, we haven't seen anything $2 in something, even 79 cents. We haven't seen anything under $3 and whatever, always $3, $3 and more. I said, and you saw it for two seventy. dollars He said, I filled up. He fills his car up. We got a 2005 Buick that he bought for me. We didn't realize we'd had it 10 years and it's still so nice. We have put 30,000 miles on it. And that, that car drives like a dream. I asked my mechanic, mechanic one time, if you're gonna buy a used car, what would you suggest you buy? He said, not a Cadillac. Because I have had a couple of Cadillacs and they are so expensive to get worked on when they're used cars. He said, Buicks. We can work on those Buicks and you can get parts for them. So anything we need for this 2005 Buick, he can get it for us if we need it. But you know, that thing doesn't need much. Recently, now I have a 2012 Buick that I drive. It's a small car, but I really like it. And then I have a Lincoln that I drive. I've always been car crazy. When I was out in California, just a young mother, and I couldn't get my kids around babies. You know, you can't go a lot of places when they're only in a buggy. Buddy was overseas. Number one was overseas. So what am I going to do? I decided to buy me a car. So I bought me a little coupe, one seat, and I laid the babies in the back behind the one seat. It only had one seat and a trunk. I think it was a Plymouth. I can't really, really remember. I think it was a Plymouth or a Dodge. Honey, that's been 70 years ago, but it was perfect for me. So I, I drove that a long time and then he, he stayed, he got, he was over there a lot and I was alone a lot out in California. So I found good churches and stuff like that. I went to the Nazarene church. They're really fine people. And I went to Baptist church and I went to the Assembly of God churches if they were close by because I'm Pentecostal. I believe that God can just do anything. He is able. And let me tell you what happened yesterday. You know, we dumpster dive. I called going to the Goodwill Restore where they sell stuff that they can't sell anyplace else and it's tables and tables of junk. Well, we alley drive sometimes or we just plain drive along the road going home. And so last night as we was going home, there was this sink and these nice cabinets right there free. So James slows down and looks at them real good and he said, you know, I could use them right now. He said, I'm gonna drop you off home and I'm coming back and getting them. I said, okay, cause I could tell they looked really nice. I mean, it's a gift from God, right? So, I mean, they cost big money, but somebody's changing their cabinets. They want a different style, you know how us women are. So he dropped me off and he went back and he said, I'll be back in a little bit because it was only about a few blocks from our house, from where he lives nights and weekends with him. So a little while he come back and he said, you're not gonna believe what happened. I said, well, what happened? Tell me. He said, well, it's heavy. You know, it was pretty heavy. It was sink in cab, built in cabinets. Were you like for a kitchen? And he said, you know, it wasn't scratched up. It was perfect condition. He said, and I was trying to get it lifted up so I could finagle it into the van. And this young man, came walking along, this uh, Mexican guy, and he said, do you need a little help there? James said, yeah, I sure could use it. So that guy just pitched right in. He was walking along the street and James says, are you from around here? He said, no, I'm just picking up my child from the babysitter, lives right over there. And, uh, and I was just out getting ready to get uh, her in the car. And James says, well, how old is she? He said, well, she's five years old. Now, James, he is different, honey. This is my everyday life I'm telling y'all about today, which is so different from the evangelistic field, which was so different. Everything keeps changing. It just does. So 
James, when we was at a yard sale three weeks ago, there was a, a woman and they had three kids. They had, you know what a black garbage bag is? He said, of toys, fluffy toys, you know, stuffed toys. And she had oodles of them. And James will buy stuff like that. And then he takes it down to the Methodist thrift store and he gives them to them and tells them to give every little kid comes in, give them a stuffed toy. And they do that and kids love it. Kids love stuffed toys, the little ones, you know, three and four and five years old. So James <laughs> has had a sack of those things with him. So he had saved back this teddy bear that he said, you know, this would look good on a bed somewhere. And I think he was planning to throw it on our bed. My mom slept with teddy bears, three or four of them after her husband passed away. My stepdaddy died. She would sleep with her teddy bears, some of them this big. So anyway, he had that teddy bear right there in the van and he got that out and he handed that to the Mexican man that helped him. And he said, here, give this to your little girl. That man said, thank you, thank you, thank you. He was so pleased. He said, she'll love this. And I'm sure she did. That's just the way he is. Different. But I think he's he's so kind. Buddy was always so kind. You know, I couldn't hardly let Buddy carry money. You know why? He would give it away. If he took the kids, if he took our grandbabies, and we had quite a few of them back then, if he took them to the dollar store, he would come back broke. So what I would do, I would only give him a certain amount to spend on the grandkids because they could pick them out stuff from the Dollar Tree. And that's where he'd take them to shop. And they had such fun. So Sarah Beth, who is now 40 some years old, never married, but she's the one that got me these hearing aids. She works up in New Jersey for corporate for hearing life. And did you know if you, uh, if anybody is related to you, you can get the hearing aids from Hearing Life if you're a cousin, a grandpa, a grandma, an aunt, uncle, no matter, at a reduced price. So James paid for mine and they're doing wonderful. I just love them. I can hear TV so much better and I don't have to turn it so loud, which irritates James sometimes, but he's pretty sweet about it. So this is everyday life. Now today, everyday life, I'm planning on going to the dumpster dive place. And I got this lady though that gives me free eggs. She's got chickens. And so she gives me eggs and she ran out of car cartons. So I'm gonna look for egg cartons at the dumpster dive because I found them there before. And she gives, she gives her eggs away because you know, she can't use them all because she's got 10 or 12 chickens. I don't know how many. And she gives me eggs all the time. So I try to do a favor. And if I can't find any, I'm going to order her some egg cartons from Amazon. They sell them on Amazon. I got some of the, I got a nicest throw rug for Amazon for about $8 the other day where the, the cats just keep jumping on them and spreading them. Now these two little new cats, our older cat, she just, she is so, she just sits and watches them. And they are, when you go to sit down in your chair, one of them or both of them will be right in my lap. And James says they do the same thing for him if I'm not around, both of them will get right in his lap. And they chase each other everywhere. And our older cat just watches them and plays with the laser with them and jumps around with them. And I did buy them a lot of stuff. I guess I ought to make a short and show y'all what all I bought for them. I went a little mama crazy. I'm mama till, but this morning as I was leaving, the one that follows me around everywhere where the other one doesn't, and the only way you can tell them apart, she's got about this much white on the end of her tail. The other one only has half that amount. That's the one that likes James. And this morning, as I was leaving, we have like a breezeway before we go into the garage to get in the car. Right? The car is not in the garage. It's full of stuff. James is stuff, stuff. 
God only knows what all. That's where he keeps a lot of those little old animals he had, I think. Come on, Bella. Get back up here. I'm not helping you. Either you get here on your own or forget it. It's up to her. Her choice. You can jump or not. It's up to you. She's got the most beautiful green eyes. Come on, cat. Get up here. Anyhow, cats are fun. So as I was going out the breezeway from the kitchen, those cats, those little kittens, can they run like lightning. And she ran fast and was walking around, and then she lays down and shows me her belly and stuff as if I'm just going to stop and spend the day rubbing her belly for her there in the breezeway when I need to go get in the car and go walking at the Y. Not hardly. So I picked her up and I put her back in the kitchen. And I'm leaving again. This is everyday life, kiddos. <laughs> and so she beats me into the breezeway again. She is so fast. So I said, what am I going to do? So I, I pick her up by her neck. You know, you can pick cats up by their neck and not hurt them, just like their mother carries them, and they got plenty of skin there. So I lifted her up by her neck, and I set her back out, out in that other room, and I gave her a little pitch. And then I brought my foot up right quick and said, no, no, no. And she stayed that time. So I was able to get out into the breeze without her, and it was tricky. Well, look who came. Look who got up here on her own. I don't know how she did it. I wasn't watching. You ought to show them your green eyes. Anyway, so anyhow, I was able to get in the car and go on walking, and now I'm going up there to the dumpster dive and see if I can find some egg cartons and whatever, and maybe, who knows, what you find at that place. You never know because, and they sell it by the pound, and it's, very interesting. So I'm going to put my glasses on and say have a blessed day and y'all walk that path where the Lord will be pleased with you because I talk about it all the time and God is good, honey. He loves y'all. Give your heart to Jesus. Bye-bye.